What's going on everybody? Kenny Dubs here with another Mega Man X Dive event coverage video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the urgent support needed at the Shrine Ruins Highest Difficulty Challenge event. This is the latest event in Mega Man X Dive and part two of the Monster Hunter Rise collaboration. So let's get started, shall we? Real quick before we get into the event, I'm using Rathalos Armor X uh, with two Baton cards and one E Honda. The two Batons are there for the healing capabilities because that will be useful and the e-honda is just there because it's a green and triggers off of red i have no dna yet on my rathos armor so i just want to show that and then the two weapons i'm using are the two monster weapons the sinister uh, shadow blade and the sinister gatling gun all right so loading into the stage here this time our hidden elements are going to be in the form of mushrooms they are an account item in monster hunter but you guys probably don't really care about that but it's something i like because it's an attention to detail from the actual games so uh, i'm just going to purposely lead along the path here uh, we have the wire bugs back again so hopefully you guys are used to doing those and we'll take the second wire bug right here over to this mushroom i don't grab it right away just to kind of show that um you know this is what we're looking for so after that, I'm going to jump back down to the uh, to the previous level. There's health there if you need it. I dash under because I don't need it. And right here is a forced battle section. And after we complete the forced battle section, we are allowed to proceed. But before you proceed too far, uh, you're going to want to hug the wall right here after this giant turtle. Because hugging the wall will let you slide down here and grab the second hidden element of the stage. Now for the next hidden element, we're going to traverse a little bit right here up to the wire bug and then to this wire bug up above that. And then there should be one more wire bug, if I remember correctly, right here. Yep. And oh, I lied. There's two more. <laughs> and there are three hidden elements right up here, which are very, very nice to grab. You got to take that next wire bug over. And then after that, we're going to double back a little bit because we jump down a little bit here, landing this branch. And then there is another hidden element right there that puts us to number six. And then after that, we have a mini boss, which I really, really like. I like this mini boss a lot more than the Volvodon giant met. Uh, we actually have uh, a Tiggy. Uh, Tigrex, for, um, for those of you who don't play Monster Hunter. Uh, beating this mini boss is pretty simple. Uh, this is just the, the Rex boss, and I actually like it as Tiggy because um, it charges around like Tiggy does. And the uh, when it shoots out the, the pellets, it's kind of like when Tiggy does his rock throw. Anyway, beating him yields you another hidden element. However, before moving on, you're going to want to jump up here to this wall right there, and then that gets us number 8. Now, keep in mind, we only need 10 for this uh, for this stage, but there are more than you need, so I'm just showing you where all of them are in case you maybe you want to skip one, you know, or skip a few, because like I said, there are quite a few more than we need here. Um, so after that mini boss, it's actually not far to the main boss of the stage. There's health here that I'm going to pick up because my health is looking a little bit too low. Uh, but right after that, we get into the, the main boss. And it is a Sting Chameleon, um, you know, dressed as a Chameleos. And actually for this fight, I took it a little bit easily because I typically don't really show the moves that the bosses have. I kind of just fight them and I kind of just equate them to, you know, how they are normally. Which, that still happens here, but I, I, I did kind of want to show that it's, um, you know, it's moveset. So it has the typical Sting Chameleon stuff. And I actually hate Sting Chameleon. Uh, but the Monster Hunter Sword, what it allows me to do with the hidden skill is allows me to get healing when I hit boss characters, uh, I think once every 8 seconds or something like that. Uh, so I'm just trying to trying to get some healing here. And as you can see, it basically has the Sting Chameleon uh, moveset overall. But one cool thing that it does, I think it's right here after I take out the Gatling gun, is that it actually uh, puts up mist in the area so it's harder to see like Chameleos does. Uh, but it is the same. And it's going to do the thing that I hate, what this thing Chameleon does. But, uh, yeah, here comes the meatballs, as my buddy Poldu calls it, uh, when we're playing Monster Hunter. Uh, this is just like Sting Chameleon Spike Rain. And taking out Sting Chameleon, let's see another hidden element. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see this one, because I beat the boss approximately where the thing spawns. But if you look at the top, you see that I got the hidden element. I was just, I just happened to be standing there when the boss uh, died. And that's where the hidden element spawn. So we're at nine. And actually in this area, there's six, five, five, six hidden elements. There's one up there, you jump up to the wall. Uh, there's one right here you grab on top of the house. There's two right here on the middle of the house. And then there's one down here at the bottom. And then that is it for the stage. All we had to do was, uh, there's no time limit. Uh, just get at least 10 of the hidden elements, which we did. We got 14. 
uh, there was clear the stage and clear it with one thirty percent remaining of your HP. All right, so with the stage done, real quick, I just want to show the event rewards, how we typically have them for the uh, prize box kind of thing here. Um, I'm just, this is just me just getting the rewards, like I said, uh, the prize box kind of thing that we typically have. And then after that, I'm going to go to the, the lab because much like the first Monster Hunter Rise collaboration, uh, we actually have... Oh, well, actually, I, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to show off the title that we get uh, because we go over here and we get the title first time com for completing the event. You just see right here, I accept it. And then after that, I'm going to click home and then I'm going to go to the lab just to show, kind of show uh, we have another event research. I clicked the wrong one at first. Then I go down to the second one because that's the one we have right now. And we have the Sting Chameleon card alongside, um, you know, the scrap so that we can make the materials we need for the Sync Million card, if you're unlucky, which I'm glad that they added in the rerun for both the both this event and the previous one. Yeah, the Sync Million card is actually pretty solid. It has spray adaptability and spray amplification on one card, which is great for sprayer builds. Damage and mitigation on one card. And then I'm just going to go over here to the store real quick. Uh, I want to go down to the limited uh, to show that we have some new cards here, but also some of the old cards are here as well, like the Hanoa and Minoto card and the Fugen card in particular. A uh, Fugen card is really nice as zero distance boost, uh, increased damage when basically you're in like really close proximity, and then it has double melee, uh, double adaptability. So, or does is it double implication? I, I, I don't remember. But the Hanoa Minoto card uh, is rerunning in as well, and this card is great for fighting bosses uh, because that's Kimura Maiden rather than boss killer, so that you don't have to worry about um overlapping on your boss killer and then bunny dongo is helpful as well but that's it for this event hopefully you guys enjoyed it appreciate it. if you guys like comment and subscribe it helps the channel it shows me grow it shows me enjoying the content and i will catch you guys next time later